Even people that have all their senses and are physically okay can't make it up here. If I was sighted, I don't know what I would be doing if I would be doing all this crazy stuff. I'm going to be 58 in another month. I'm hoping I can keep up with everybody. Well, imagine hiking 10,000 feet up a mountain, blind, hiking Mount Baldy. It's no easy task even for experienced hikers, but a group of determined blind hikers did what many thought they could never do. They actually reached the top. Baldy for the Blind is a documentary that follows hikers as they attempt to summit the highest and most dangerous mountain right here in L.A. County. Local filmmaker Drea Castro is the director. She's here to talk about how it was just chosen to premiere at the Dances with Films Festival. Drea, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Tell us about this project and how long it took to put together. I mean, this was no easy feat. <laughs> no, thank you for having me. Um, it took me 13 years. Wow. <laughs> I started back in 2010, and um, I started actually as one of the site guides. And then I realized that I really, I needed to be filming this thing. I needed to tell the story and something was like pulling at me. Mm -hmm. Something was telling me like, Dre, you need to like capture this right now. And I think kind of like changed my direction in life, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> and this isn't so much about, you know, watching this documentary about some blind hikers. This is a message you say is going to resonate with the entire audience. Why is that? I mean, everyone's climbing their own mountain, you know, and people that have watched it, I've had a few people that's been able to screen it. They're like, it makes me kind of look at my own life and kind of makes me, you know, question what I should be doing and, you know, pursuing my passions and overcoming, you know, the obstacles that we have in life. And so for me, it was my own obstacle. It took me like 13 years. So it was my own mountain. And I kept just kind of thinking, OK, like one foot in front of the other. That's what like the, the lead hiker, the guy who put it together, Chris Lynch, he just kept saying like one foot in front of the other and we'll get in, in, into the top of the mountain. So that was really that was important to me and just is my like <laughs> thing that I keep thinking all the time whenever I face an obstacle. So that's what this this film is about. It's more than just climbing a mountain. It's really it, it will resonate with other people. What surprised you most in putting this project together? You follow a group of about 11 people. Mm -hmm. Give us a synopsis of, I guess, the journey they're going to take us on. So the film, obviously, in the background, they're climbing a mountain and they're visually impaired, but we go into their stories. Each and every one of them has a story and they all represent something. One, Odette, is like about motherhood and how it's like to, you know, the challenges of motherhood when you're visually impaired. I have another man who used to be an artist and he lost his sight. Mm -hmm. So what is that like? And they used to be like just you know, somebody who's sighted and had a normal life and then all of a sudden something happened and they lost their sight. So, you know, it's very, very relatable. But every single one, I kind of go in there and, and try to tell their story. It's the art of storytelling. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. What does it mean to you to have this premiere at the festival and how can people check it out? Okay, so Dances with Films is premiering at the TCL Chinese Theater in Hollywood, which was which is huge. Huge. It's like a dream, right? I, I didn't know where it was going to premiere, but having it here locally and having you know this mountain is something that we look at every single day, yeah. and everybody's local. It, it just it meant the world to just have it here. It just is meant to be. Um, it's going to be on July second at 12:30 p.m. at the Chinese Theater. So I hope. Everybody checks it out. And people can just grab tickets online yes. or show up in person? Yes, you can grab tickets online um, at the Dances with Films website. I think. Um, Perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. link that all up there. Thank you so much for coming Thank in this you. morning. It's such an important message. As you said, everybody in life has some kind of obstacle, some kind of mountain to climb. And this just kind of follows along on an incredible journey. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Of course, you can find this segment on our website, kcalnews.com.